This is a demonstration on how to format a reference list APA style. Formatting a reference list is very easy and takes very little time using the Microsoft Word functions. This demonstration covers inserting a new page, formatting the title, correcting the margins, double spacing, spacing font and font size. Importantly, we will cover how to apply hanging indents, put entries in alphabetical order, use italics and lastly take out hyperlinks. The aim of this process is to have a beautifully presented reference list that meets the standards required. Your reference list must start on a fresh new page at the end of your assignment. To ensure that you have a new page, insert a page break. To do this, go to the end of your assignment with your cursor. Left click your mouse. Go up to insert and click on the page break. On the new page, type the title References. The only formatting you apply here is to centre the title. Highlight the word References with your cursor or simply click on that line. Go to Home, Paragraph and click the Centred Lines. You can work out that these are the centred lines when you hover your cursor over to see what each function is called. In this case it's simply, simply called Centre with the American spelling. You can also see the shortcut, which is Control plus the letter E, which means instead of using the paragraph section, you can simply highlight the word and pre press Control button and the E button at the same time and you will centre the word. Both the body of your essay and the reference list should be consistently formatted. The margin should be normal or 2.54 centimetres. Go to the Page Layout tab at the top. Find the Page Setup section, click on Margins and pick Normal. Now go back to the Home tab. Highlight the whole reference list page. For double spacing, go to Home, Paragraph, Line and Paragraph, and pick Two. The Two refers to the two line spacing or double line spacing. Please check over the whole list and ensure that it has even spacing throughout. Keeping that page highlighted, go to Home, Font, and change the font to Times New Roman. Go to the font size and change that to 12 from the drop down menu. The indenting pattern for the reference list is hanging indent. This is the opposite of the indent for each par paragraph in the body of your assignment. There are at least two ways to change the indent formatting for the reference list. You can use the paragraph dialog box or the ruler. To use the paragraph dialog box as we have been, highlight the whole reference list first after the title references. Go up to Home, Paragraph and then click on that corner button to expand the dialog box. Find indent and spacing, find indentation special, and then find hanging indent. Then click OK and it will be done for you. To use the ruler, you will need to ensure you can actually see or view the ruler. The ruler can be seen at the top of your page but below the navigation bar. If you don't have this ruler, go to View, Show and tick the top line ruler sort of over the left and you'll be able to see the ruler then. We're going to use those indicators on the left side. Highlight the whole reference list first after the title and then go back to those two tab indicators. Hold down the shift key. For the hanging indent, you use the cursor and click on the bottom part of the markers. Slide the bottom indicator 1.25 centimeters over. This is approximately five to seven spaces. Each entry is organized in alphabetical order. Luckily, there is a way for the computer program to do this for you. Go to Home, Paragraph, Sort, and click. Your entries will be in alphabetical order. This works beautifully if you've entered in a line change after each entry. The last two formatting processes we will cover for the entries themselves are italics and formatting live hyperlinks. As a general rule, italics is used once for each entry, is used for the title. If you are referencing a journal article, italics is used for the journal and its issue number. Do not put the article title in italics. If you are referencing a chapter in a book, the italics is used for the title of the book, not the chapter. Italics is achieved by firstly highlighting the title with your cursor. Click on the left side as you cover the word. Clicking onto Home, the font dialog box, click on the I for italics. This is between B and U for underline. OK, note you can also use the shortcut, which is to highlight the word, word and hold down Control and I. When you use a URL or a DOI, often you will find that it, they are still active as hyperlinks. 
you'll know it's active because it'll be underlined and in hyperlink blue. The issue here is the visual formatting. The simplest way to make your reference list clear and easy to read is to simply highlight that URL, right click and click on remove hyperlink. To make it active again later, you simply highlight the URL again and right click hyperlink and press OK. By now your reference list should be looking great. It should be easy to use. For any other details about reference lists, refer to the quick guide on APA referencing. With practice, this process should only take you a couple of minutes.